how they feel from inside. Their emotions. And with those emotions coming forth, they attach themselves to it to a certain point. They attach themselves to it to a certain point that they believe that it's a calling of God. That those emotions that are translating to how their gender looks like. How they feel or think that this is their natural gender. This is who they were. I was born a man and I was a woman. Or I was born a woman and I'm now a man. Or I'm, I'm, I'm this, I'm a trans, or I'm this. And they believe. That those emotions, it's nature, it's a calling. That's who they are. And they buy by it. They die by it. They swear by it. They kill by it. They destroy lives by it. They harass people by it. Then there are some. Because they are straight, they think other who are not straight, they are a curse. They believe that their straightness is a calling. And they will harass every other person for it. There is a way that seems right unto a man. But that way, brethren, leads to damnation. It leads to death. That means every time we are taking decisions, we have to sit and think twice. It's the way we're taking. How is it like? Where is it leading me? Is it the right way? Does it seem right, but something is wrong with it? Ask yourself that question, brethren. And ask yourself that question deeply because there's a problem there. There's a serious problem. When you do not punch a thought. I said it again. It's a serious problem. If you do not punch a thought. Punching a thought means. Something comes in your mind. You have a thought, and you receive the thought, and you believe in the thought without pondering over the thought, without questioning the thought, and not only questioning the thought, but questioning the thought deeply. And everyone must question a thought very deeply if you want to be sure of your life. If you want to live this life in a way that you will not fall in the trap of the devil. Then you have to punch a thought. Punching a thought means you don't only sit and the thought comes and then you, you think of it. It means you feel that you are a man. Meanwhile, you are in a woman's skin. You sit down with your skill in meditation, which is focus, concentration, and self-belief. If you are skilled, because punching and thought is not as easy as I'm saying it. You sit, and you bring that thought. After you've concentrated, just like I thought you in meditation, you put all everything together. You now know that you can sit, you can focus, you can concentrate, you can align your thoughts together. You are not distracted from anything. You bring that thought, your thought, into the presence of that meditation. The only thought you will bring is that one. You believe that you are a man. Meanwhile, you are a woman. You sit there, you meditate, you organize yourself, your cosmic activities, you bring them together, and you bring that thought in the presence, in the milieu, in the milieu of that meditation when you are ready. 
then you say, I think I'm a woman. Because when you begin to think you're a woman, you will believe in it. It's a fact. People who think they are women believe in it. They end up believing in it. That's why when you bring that thought, you are bringing with this fact that you have believed in it. Now when you sit there, question that belief intensely, with all intensity you could on earth. Question that belief. Question it deeply, with focus, with concentration. Something will be telling you that to run away, to leave it, that don't, it, it's too hard to think about it. Think about it. Question it deeply. Penetrate it. And let me teach you how to do that. And if you don't know it, if you don't learn it today, then you contact me, you go on my website, you sign up, you pay money to come and learn it. Then I'll put you on my feet and teach you how to do that. Now, this is what you do. When you have learned, first of all, how to meditate effectively, I know that you are not distracted by anything. When a thought comes in your mind, I'm a gay. I was born gay. I was born a homosexual. I think I'm a transgender. I think I'm this and that. Or even I think I'm straight. I think I'm a polygamist. Or I think I'm a monogamist. Whatever thing you think in your head, I don't care what it is that you believe, you can punch it. The reason why you have to punch it is because you want to have clarity about that thing and who you are and what it is as it's supposed to be. What I'm telling you is very critical in human life, in success in life. If you want to be free, If you want to be free from any form of manipulation, I don't care whether it's from the devil. I don't care whether it's from humans, animals, birds, spirits, whatever. I don't want to know. If you want to be free from any of those burdens, learn to punch a thought. If you don't know how to punch a thought, come to me. That is the most difficult thing for a man to do. It takes a lot of practice. It's not difficult because you can't do it. It's difficult because it's hard. Because we learn how to deny ourselves of the problems that we, we, we create for ourselves. We don't want to believe that we create our own problems. We don't want to believe in our own negativity that we are negative. We don't want someone to tell us about our negative side of life, the weaknesses we face, the real fundamental weaknesses that we are escaping from. We don't want anyone to tell us about it. And punching a thought is like telling yourself you are a thief or you are a prostitute. You say, I'm a prostitute. And telling you deep, telling your soul that you are a prostitute. It's like taking time to sit down and look into your own evil intently and deeply and let us see how much damage you've caused without holding, no whole bars, no holes bars. You go deep into your own life, into a weakness in your life, and intentionally and intently stay and begin to drill it without a laser beam and begin to see every single facet of your weakness. People don't like doing that. No single average person does that. No single average person punches a thought except that person has chosen to free himself or herself from the chaos of this earth. And that's what I did. People don't like to face their own reality. If you want to be free, face your reality. Face yourself. Let somebody tell you you're a thief. If you're a thief, you look at yourself and say, yes, truly. Wow, I'm a thief. And look at, deeply go deep down in you. Those people who have shot and killed lots of people around the world, 
if they were punching a thought, if they were punching their thoughts, brethren, this world would not be the way it is today. Because nobody would tell you to kill somebody. Because you will self-evaluate yourself. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. Now, I'm gay. Am I gay? That's the question. What makes me to believe I'm gay? Why should I believe I'm gay? Why? Ask that question to that belief. Let that belief tell you why you should believe in that belief that you are gay. Period. And stick onto it until you find a solution. The sticking onto it is you sit down and you look into that belief. And looking in it just simply means you bring your eyebrows here, you bring the thought here, you look in the thought, and you stay there. There are going to be a million and one distractions, including pain, including harassment. You will be thoroughly harassed for questioning your own belief. You will not know where the harassment is coming from. You don't know what's harassing you. The thing is, you will feel extremely uncomfortable when you begin to penetrate that thought, that unacceptable thought of what is happening with your life, what you are causing to yourself and the rest of society and your soul. When you begin to dive deep into that thought, you harass the thought. In the process of harassing the thought, the thought is harassing you and you are trying to escape from it. Something is telling you to leave it. At times, coupled with the pain of sitting there, coupled with the chaos that is going around you, coupled with the questions and the fear, and the, there are lots of things that are going on in you that makes you don't want to be in that situation when you punch a thought. The blockages that come with it because something is struggling to block you not to see through what you are believing in. Something is telling you to believe in it and you are struggling to punch it and to hammer it with your hammer and say, I'm not going to believe in it. This is the greatest lesson you will ever learn on earth. You want freedom. I just taught you how to be free. If you are a drug addict and you've been wondering how to get off drugs, this is how you get off drugs. When you learn to punch a thought, that punching a thought, the day you will punch a single thought and go through, because if the thought is here, take for example, this is a thought. Let's say this is a thought and this is your thinking. The thought is you. This is your thinking. Penetrating the thought. This thought is, I'm gay. You are thinking you are gay. This is a thought, and you are perceiving the thought. The thought is telling you are gay, and you are believing it. You now send a punch into the thought. Why should I believe in you? Why should I believe I'm gay? You're drilling the thought like a laser. You're drilling it. You cannot drill it. You cannot send a laser to drill a hole in a wall without focusing the laser beam straight into the, and staying focused. That's why you need to concentrate when punching a thought. You're drilling into the thought. You're telling the thought, no, I don't want to believe in what you are putting in me. What should I believe in? Why should I believe in you? That causes focus, concentration, and clarity. Intense clarity. Your head will clear. This head, when you do that, is the most difficult thing a human being would do. But if you succeed, you've won. Nobody will mess around with your intellect again because it will clear this. And when you begin to clear this, 
those blockages, what makes you angry, what makes you frustrated, what makes you not to be able to hold yourself together, you will see that begin to disappear. Because the way you resolve problems, you are now learning to clean your hair. It works miracles in your brain, in your eyes, your nostrils, and all parts of your being around you. When you begin to punch that thought, certainly you're not going to get an answer. The answer you're going to get is a penetration. You will go drill through that thought, and all of a sudden the thought will disperse. And you will find yourself in a blissful situation. In that bliss, there are varieties of thoughts and energies that spread that will heal you. That will heal that thought, that will bring clarity to your nature, to your being and everything. What I'm telling you is practice. This is not spiritual spirituality. What you go here in the Catholic Church and all these places, they lie to you. This is practical spirituality I'm teaching you. It's not an easy thing to do. But when you punch that thought, you drill that laser beam into that thought through your thinking, through your focus, through your concentration, it will drill through. <coughs> As it's drilling through, it will be coming through this way. You are going through the thought. The thought has no borders on this side. It's a thought that expands into infinity. When you are drilling through, you are clearing. Those thoughts are nuances that are holding you from seeing reality. Now when you're drilling through, those thoughts are the, the cause. It's like the back of the tree. That belief is the back of the tree. You are getting now into the real deal about you. You are getting into the real thought, who you really are, because you are now penetrating. You are now, the, the belief was a core. The belief was a bark. Now you are getting into the subtle levels of that thought. That thought was just the way that seemed as if it is. It's not. That thought is the way, is the belief. It seems is a coarse area of the thought. You need to penetrate here to come behind here at a subtle level to be able to feel the thought that is causing the cross here. In here, the thought here is different from the one here. This is a cross. The real thought is subtle. That's why you need concentration to point the laser beam, which is your thought. And it takes practice. It's not a one day's job. It may take 10 years. It may take five. It may take three. It may take one. You have to work on yourself to build yourself to that point where you can liberate yourself. And when you do that over and over, when you become a master of punching your thought, when every thought comes, you punch it. When everyone comes, you punch it. It's not like you are questioning the thought anymore. Now questioning doesn't take place because now you are punching a thought. You bypass the level of questioning thoughts. The scientists will begin to question thoughts. You don't question them. If it comes, you already know it's a thought. You don't need a question. You need to punch it to try it to see what a thought is. If you come to my life and think you just walk in my life and begin to play games, I don't let that happen. As you are coming, I see you. I punch it in my brain. You don't have to know it. You are coming, I know I will punch your intentions. And if I see your intentions are not right, I'm punching it. They control whatever thing you bring around me. Learn it. Learn it until it becomes spontaneous in your life so that people not kill you aimlessly. Let them kill you for a reason, a very concrete reason. A reason that will stabilize your soul and your spirit and everything. Punch your thoughts so that you can free yourself from the burdens of the earth.